Now this is a different type of video for me because I'm not covering particularly an event or how to get through it but this is more a case of how to avoid an event um, because yeah myself and Ziggy made a video where we went on about the Rymex C2 event and how it's been changed from the global version so in this video I'm going to go through basically what was changed with this uh, game loss response to this which was live today in case people missed it on the Asphalt 9 Discord server uh, the actual cost that this will run you to get through these next 33 days worth of events and yeah some suggestions as to what you can do uh, instead of doing any of that I'm just gonna go through those and it shouldn't be too long with this because I don't want to get this too angry or ranty because quite a lot of people are both of those things so first things first just to take a look at the way this event has been changed for anyone who doesn't know and thinks wow this is incredibly difficult even if you're uh, a new player to this game or you haven't been keeping up to date on any of the bits and pieces in the global event so i'm just going to go through what this event effectively is going to cost you because of the fact of the way this has been changed so a uh, message here from Sur grillo on our um, discord server and yeah it's just breaking down the math of this and what's happened with this event effectively is there was supposed to be relay packs at the start of this where you could spend your tokens to get your foot in the door effectively at this event and uh, that portion was replaced with spend 10 euro on the furia and yeah that whole get foot in door part was removed then you were supposed to be able to basically progress through the event by getting syndicate coins from it and yeah if you wanted to obviously like star up the cars and such then you had the options of spending extra but that was all removed on the switch instead what we got is paywalls and they removed every use of tokens I want to say. yeah there's completely no use of tokens in this event and i will go into that in a small bit as to why that's a really really bad move but yeah uh, the math here uh, you can see from this post so you need 10 euro for the one star version of the furia but that's useless because you need to get that uh, to the three star range because it says in the store that you can only purchase that once but of course the store is completely wrong in this game because whoever's putting it together uh, yeah can't count so you can actually buy that three times and yeah start a car up three times by paying 30 euros that way now the two the 20 euro car then appears the on the following day which is the shelby g or one and you need to get it you need to be effectively spend 80 euros on that car and then get an epic import part to install in there as well so uh yeah then you get on to the zero uno which is 50 euros to buy 25 blueprints if you need to unlock that fully uh you need to buy that twice so you need to spend 100 euros to unlock that car and then starring it up is going to cost you yeah an absolute crazy amount um like realistically this event is just insanely filled with paywalls but there's a problem other than that is the fact that i would imagine the same person who's responsible for isn't that 99 percent off oh no it's not matt's uh in the team behind the nintendo switch version of this game probably was also responsible for the idea of what if you were to divide the rewards that you get in coins by a factor of 20 which effectively makes doing the runs absolutely worthless because yeah as you would notice you get like two syndicate coins from some races and yeah six from others um it's absolutely not worth anyone's time to try to get coins that way so the idea is to usher people into buying this junk all this week though people were kind of thinking uh maybe they're going to change that because there was going to be an official announcement uh at the start of this week and that came today and it's this unfortunately coming from stephanie on the asphalt 9 discord server now i will just say like i know people want to shout at somebody over this but uh stephanie's a community manager and has like she is the liaison between the um people who are playing the game and the people who are behind the game really like she's not the one who is behind the thoughts of doing this she was even on holiday during that point so 
don't flame that person because keep in mind as well that if you flame on the asphalt 9 discord server you're going to get banned and you're going to get your voice taken away on there and yeah maybe just click on the poop emoji underneath that or i would say the whale one but i think that might get you in trouble i just added a sad emoji to that um but yeah this is the announcement uh all of your complaints to this event has been heard and multiple options were analyzed but an ongoing event of this size can't be changed why it's running for the next 35 days why could you not change this like even if you were to go oh well the people are off for christmas yeah that's fine christmas is in four days time that would give another 30 days this event is going to run until the 25th of january or thereabouts uh yeah you could probably alter this in the same way that it's been altered uh to make it completely unplayable but yeah so the event isn't going to change it will require spending an insane amount of money for the love of everyone's wallet do not even start to go down the path of the paywalls on this event you're never ever going to pay your way through this the way the event has been uh cut to ribbons like yeah it's gonna ask you for crazy crazy money at uh, the one thing by the way that i didn't go into fully here uh is on yeah gorilla's post the last portion of this finally 300 uh, dollars to get the remac to three stars with all upgrades installed the reason for that costing so much is because those upgrades for the remac are supposed to be done with syndicate coins while this event is ongoing and you need the remax upgraded the problem is the fact that the event was finely tuned to make it possible to do that by the people who made the event on global before it got handed copy pasted to the switch crew and they decided eh, cut the rewards by 20 and yeah what happens when you do that is the fact that you can't upgrade the car without spending money so then you need to shell out like yeah a hundred um euros to get the actual currency that's going to be required to like upgrade the car it's crazy do not even start down this path if you're looking at this and going well it's just a tenner for the first day yeah it is but then it changes to 30 to actually progress through the day and then 80 tomorrow and yeah it's an insane amount of money don't fund this event vote with your wallets like i can't stress this enough the game is meant to be free to play i get the fact that obviously there's a thing of supporting it that's realistic but at the same time this event is being destroyed um just you have this thing in these free to play games called fear of missing out which is the like main tool that is used against the player base of such a game uh the way that works is the fact that there's a shiny card do you want to miss out on it don't miss out now it's only 80 percent off and all these like percentages off nonsense yeah the reason that that's done is just to make a player particularly younger players want to get something and think the fact that oh if i don't get it now i'll miss out take a step back and look at this realistically what happens if you miss out on getting the Rimac c2 you then rely on probably your Bugatti chiron your ferry fxk your all your other s-class cars it's a single s-class car it doesn't matter like do not start down that pay all um path just for a car in a game like realistically for that amount of um spending right there yeah you could buy yourself a real car so wouldn't be great but you could get yourself a real car uh yeah don't go down that path genuinely uh there's a lot of other things you can do now me personally what i intend to do with this one because it's not going to change with this event so i am going to come out of the drive syndicate and just ignore it because yeah it's an event that i effectively don't need to do now over christmas so that's not going to change so for the next couple of weeks i'm going to be probably doing quite a lot less asphalty content i might be keeping a look on the car hunts and such but i am completely going to be not doing anything to do with that event not even spending a cent on it it's a terrible idea but yeah i don't know that you could spend time with family or play any of the other couple of thousand games on the switch and i'm going to go through some of those and i do play quite a lot of other games as well on this channel 
But in the meantime, like I said, not going to do anything to do with that Drive Syndicate event. As it is right now, it's been poisoned by whoever it was in responsible for the changes that were made to that event. Absolutely stop. And like, yeah, well, like I said, vote with your wallet. Don't buy into the start of the event even and just go and play something else. Um, this is something that people don't quite realize if you think as well the fact that, oh, it's just free to play players who are stopping playing. Um, keep in mind in a free to play game like this, the free to play players, they're the content for the people who actually shell out the most money in this. So if you think about it, the people who often get referred to as whales spend lots of money on their cars so they can then go into multiplayer, show them off and like run over free to play players. Now, the thing is, if the long term player base of uh, free to play players leaves, then what you're going to have left over is potentially people who've paid into this one having that car, but they're going to be racing it against people who have no idea of the significance of it because they're just not, they're going to be new to the game and they're going to, yeah, like you said, they'll win their races, but against just absolute bottom feeder DS bots and that are left inside multiplayer. So yeah, the free to play players are content for the um, people who pay money into this game. Without the free to play players, this game falls apart because those um, people who put in the money don't have content to beat in multiplayer and they don't have people to show off to effectively. Um, yeah, so like I said, you can make a significant difference to this even if you don't pay you still matter quite a lot to the entire ecosystem of a game like this. You quit playing it for a couple of weeks and yeah, like I said, vote with your wallet. Let them know that this kind of nonsense is nonsense. I really wanted to bring up a thing as to why this event is such a bad idea and what they're after doing. Now, because like this game has multiple layers of currency. So you've got your credits, your tokens and your syndicate coins. And the thing is, in these free to play games, these tokens are what's referred to as your premium currency. They are the currency that you spend actual real world money on or that you can grind a tiny amount of every couple of days. The problem is the fact that it's supposed to be the premium currency. And with the event, the way it was on global, you had the relay pack so you could use your premium currency to get in the door and to actually start playing it. What they've done with this event by removing the relay is the fact that they have devalued the premium currency to be effectively worthless. Like there is no value whatsoever from the premium currency in this game. So like this whole store, the economy that this game is based on, that falls apart completely when you say, oh, your premium currency that we use in this game. Yeah, that's not actually good here you know, you'll need this other currency. It's called euros and dollars. So at the point where you circumvent your premium currency and just say, no, 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 it's only dollars and euros. Anyone who has spent money on any of this currency is completely burned because they've spent money on worthless currency. Uh, this is the same as spending real world money on buying credits in game because this is seen as the not premium currency which you can earn freely in game. You have to see the difference between premium currency and your non premium currency. If you blur the lines of this and you devalue the premium currency then you ruin the entire model of a free to play game. Yeah, it's just like you're removing the premium currency's premiumness. You're making it a worthless currency. I don't even see like how this is lost on you. Every single free to play game that uses a premium currency would know this. Something as large as Asphalt. I can't believe that somebody is actually working on the group who doesn't realize the fact that this event is after devaluing the premium currency. Like that is free to play model of games 101 what have you done <laughs> like just whichever person it is on the team that does that like you don't know how to do math and you don't know the model of a free-to-play game please stop please just go and stand in a corner like put on a hat that looks like a plant stand inside in a pot and go like this for the next month because you would be doing less damage to your game thanks um but yeah, when you devalue your premium currency, that means that these holiday special packs and stuff, which would otherwise be something where I would be like, oh man, those are really good deals. 
it's like 20 euro for 1500 tokens or this one which is a lot of tokens as well for a thing but those have no value when the tokens are not viewed as a premium currency in the 1896 event pre tokens could not guarantee you the car you could gear star up the car with them but you couldn't buy the key with tokens and if you got placed into a bad group you would not unlock the car because tokens weren't the premium currency in that they were still usable but they didn't guarantee you the key and in this event tokens are just completely devalued so what's the point in buying tokens or earning them <laughs> like it's the premium currency and you've ruined it can I also make a point, by the way, of these holiday celebrations? These pretty much sum up whoever it is that's like behind the current events and thing. This sums up the way Asphalt 9 is right now on the Switch. Right, so you have this event. Your task in it is to finish the race, finish the race, and finish the race. Okay, so there's no time involved there. You don't have a win the race. You don't have a like cup where you've got, you know, um, an actual leaderboard or anything. It's just a case of you need to finish the race. So you think, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. So I guess it's going to be like an interesting track or so. And at least it'll be like a fun drive. I'll get some rewards for doing this finish the race quest. And pick your car. You go into the race. Yee. Play it anyway. I know it's worthless. <laughs> But yeah, this like event sums up the way like the events have been looked at in Asphalt right now. If anyone hasn't done this already, by the way, you should do these because you get car rewards for them. But at the same time, they're completely like the challenge portion of them is just gone. <laughs> like there's nothing to this event. Whoever came up with this doesn't get the basics of a racing game even. Notice that something is missing from this event. <laughs> like, okay, so I'm not racing against the clock. Am I racing against other drivers? Is there a hard time challenge with this? There's no leaderboards. What's the point of this race? It's just drive around the track. There's no challenge here. Like there is no opponent to race. It's just a case of drive around the lap. Why? because you get rewards but that's not what the racing game is supposed to be about there's supposed to be some bit of a challenge even if you just add in a stupid ai and just make them incredibly easy to beat it's still some bit of a challenge at least we didn't even bother doing that with this you just give a race that has no other racers in it and you just like oh just drive on it whatever here's your rewards it's terrible you just put the car into touch drive and leave it play itself i mean yeah like i said I, I can't stress this enough whoever is responsible for the current state of events on the switch side of things really 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 needs to go and maybe take a look at other free-to-play games other video games other racing games anything <laughs> and try and figure out like yeah why people may do stuff but events like this are nonsense like this is just there is no point to this you send the car out and it just drives around and it'll get the rewards you send any car around it'll just get the rewards it doesn't matter it's not against the time it's not against the thing <sighs> awful <laughs> just just terrible like that's yeah kind of depressing like when you started off with the switch event and there was at least some bit of effort put into some of these things yeah, this is just terrible and genuinely like kind of um for somebody who's played this for quite a while i don't want to say angering just more upsetting because like especially at christmas time it should have been like a time when you would have tried to uh, soak up more new players and shown what the game has to offer but events like this are just oh, yay i finished the race i get my rewards for coming first because obviously i came first because no one's bothered to put in an ai uh yeah that's terrible yeah but outside of that what else to do with this regarding the holiday events and such because that one's pointless the other event is a 800 euro 
um, paywall so what I would advise doing is pressing that home button and going to play something else now so outside of um, yeah Asphalt 9 on the switch there's also a great many other free-to-play offerings on there like obviously one of the biggest games around the place is um, Fortnite which loads of people play and it does have a bit of a stigma to it that kids play it but to be honest everyone plays Fortnite so I'm not even going to mention that you know it's on the switch you know it's free to play it is 30 FPS but at the same time it is quite cool and yeah it has a place it's just a case of it may not be for everyone uh, regarding shooters on the switch though one of the free to play ones that I absolutely love playing is Paladins and I really want to actually do some videos on some of the other free to play games because there's some great offerings out there and like Asphalt 9 is far from the only one especially the way it is at the moment the only thing I'd say with Paladins is right now it's at the it's coming towards the last two weeks of its season pass so if you are going to give it a look do maybe uh, download it get it it's completely free it's about seven and a half gigs or so to download so it will still fit on the Switch's internal memory. But yeah, it's a game that's a team-based shooter. So you've got like um, 5v5 and you've got characters in there who are tanks, DPS, um, flanking type characters and healers. And yeah, if you've ever played something along the lines of Overwatch, it's like Overwatch. Except on the Switch, uh, yeah, the port of Overwatch on the Switch is actually really poor whereas paladins is free to play it's 60 fps and while the characters get a free rotation every week you can unlock them using the in-game non-premium currency it just takes a while to grind it out i think it took me about 250 hours or so of play to actually unlock all of the characters in that game using just the free to play uh, mechanics to get the the characters from it that is a game where I've spent about maybe 30 euros in it. And yeah, it's like, like I said, a really, really amazing shooter. Uh, it's got a bunch of different modes. I want to do a video to go further in depth into that at some point because it's a game that I really, really love. And yeah, I've spent quite a lot of time in there as well. Uh, another one that people might be interested in but may not have actually realized it, the fact that it's gone free to play now. And that's Rocket League. Uh, that was a game that was uh, previously like 20 euros but the price of it's now gone down to zero and because of the fact that it doesn't have a cost anymore it's also free to play on the Nintendo Switch so what I mean by that is if you play a multiplayer game that costs money say like um, Smash Brothers any game that has a cost in the eShop will actually not let you play online until you have the Nintendo Switch online pass which is just 20 euros for a year but at the same time um any game that costs money like splatoon mario kart smash brothers anything with a cost uh will stop you from playing it online whereas games like asphalt paladins and now rocket league uh yeah don't charge you money anymore to play those online rocket league is slightly larger install it's around 10 gigs or so i think but again it's gonna fit on your switch's internal storage or if you have an sd card but yeah it's definitely one worth checking out and rocket league has two different modes to it in terms of performance because i find that very important on the switch for games to run nicely but rocket league has a performance mode and a visual mode one of which tries to run as close as possible 60 fps but it takes out some of the grass effects and the other one adds in grass effects and a lot more shadows and stuff of the enemy cars so you do have the options between it i would always take the 60 fps option when if i'm playing that and turn off those uh, shiny extra grass effects in there but like rocket league is an amazing game if you've never played it it's a game where you're basically playing a game of football and you've got three versus three or there's even five versus five and four four v four now as well but it is a case where you did the standard game is three cars on one side three cars on the other side you've got a goal on either side of a pitch and you're trying to score goals with cars it's insane um definitely if you've never played it it's like why not give it a chance it's not like you're gonna be doing events in asphalt nine is it so uh yeah that's one that like i paid for it originally but now it's gone free to play and yeah i just had to give a shout out to it as well because like i said those two games are awesome Paladins was always free to play and it has the free play model really well worked out inside there and um yeah rocket league wasn't free to play is now 
is sort of changing over really nicely to it but at the same time it's quite cool uh in terms of value from those games uh yeah so i've put in 190 hours or so into rocket league and like yeah i've gotten tons and tons of it i've played a lot of seasons paladins i have played what feels like a way way more than asphalt but that's because quite a lot of asphalt is just time wasting kind of nonsensey stuff which yeah games like paladins don't have so with paladins you usually get three quests per day that you log in to do to get like the major boosts and then you can grind into it for experience to go through season pass like i say i'll do a, a full-on video on both of those games like in the next couple of days when i get some more time but yeah definitely like there's easily a thousand hours i i have spent some cash in that because there's a couple of costumes and stuff that i really wanted for some of the characters i played a load so i think i paid around maybe 30 to 40 euros out of a thousand hours of play i really am a sucker for some of these online free to play type games which is yeah a bit weird because like at the same time when it comes to the switch and other things to play uh i actually went off and got myself a fairly large micro sd card as you probably tell from the size there which uh yeah one of my club mates was saying the fact of surely that's really really crazy having that amount of games on a single Nintendo Switch and uh, having the games on there doesn't hurt it too much because like yeah the games themselves like uh, are fine and loading up one thing that does suck with the Switch actually is um, the save files for the games are really really bad once you get past a certain amount of save files you start to run into an error where like they um yeah, it takes ages for you to load up the actual game, the save file menu, but yeah, I don't think too many people are probably running into Ugh, Overwatch, uninstall that. <laughs> Even 240 gigs free, I'm still not putting that back on my Switch. Uh, Burying Me My Love was amazing, but yeah, I finished it. The Noah's Sacrifice, the same thing, amazing, but it's 18 gigs. Um, But uh, yeah, like, uh, like I said, there's not like there's any shortage of stuff to play on the Switch. Uh, even in free to play stuff. There is another one there, Warframe. Absolutely amazing looking game. Looks very like Mass Effect. But yeah, just in terms of this menu, you know, I mean, the Switch has quite a few games you could get. <laughs> oh, there was Grid. That's another really good driving game as well. Nino Kuni, amazing. Ori and the Blind Forest. Paladins, like I said, the entire Picross series of games. That's a lot of time. Pikmin 3 that I'm still playing through. Pokemon Shield that I haven't even started and I feel really bad. Rogue Legacy, a game I love. I platinum that on the PlayStation Network, but yeah, absolutely amazing indie title. Like Runner 3, which Charles Mantonet has the voice, the voice of Mario. There's a load of the voice work in it. Saints Row 3, now got some patches. It's actually playable on the Switch. I haven't gone back to it too much yet. Platoon 2. I mean, there's so many titles to play on the Switch, but in just in terms of the free to play stuff, like there's so many other options uh, than having to kind of put up with the Asphalt 9 nonsense at the moment. Warface is cool, but uh, yeah, in terms of those games, not exactly my cup of tea. Warframe, on the other hand, really, really nice. And ukuleles and YouTube. Uh, YouTube, which, uh, yeah, really, really doesn't like my capture card, obviously. So if I launch that, my Switch just goes black because it's like it thinks I'm trying to uh, capture it out. But yeah, I don't mean to be super negative with this. It's just a case of people should know this event isn't changing. And I said I was kind of feeling ranty. I see everyone else is feeling ranty in the channel. So why not make a video about rain rant? But yeah plenty more stuff to play on the switch don't get upset by the fact that like one event in the thing if you want to keep playing asphalt that's class just play it but don't be paying for that event regarding other videos on this channel like i said i'm still going to cover some of the daily events and the car hunt riots and stuff like that in asphalt i'm going to be putting out other content to do with other games as well at the same time uh people have asked when i was planning to do another live stream of multiplayer and yeah if you want to jump in and join in some ranting in the chat uh, i intend to do that tomorrow evening so that would be on the 22nd of december 
at uh, sometime around 11 o'clock GMT so you may need to look up your time zones but I believe that works out at around about six o'clock in the evening for a lot of people who will be in America who seem to watch quite a lot of my content on the channel I really appreciate that guys uh, yeah also 800 subs you guys rock <laughs> uh, yeah what I'm gonna be like putting out stuff like I said I cover more of the things with asphalt but at the same time like in the meantime I'm going to take that event to just be, take a month off. Yeah, go and enjoy your holidays. Uh, yeah, sub button up here over my head, guys. Really appreciate people to click on that. There's Indie or Outies up there. The last one of those, I started off with a really, what I thought was a funny comedy sketch. I think about 40 people have watched it. It took way too long to make that. So I probably won't be doing those again. <laughs> and over here is something from my channel that YouTube thinks you'll like. And it's probably going to be asphalt related because, eh youtube doesn't know any better don't be bad at youtube and like i said don't be bad at the community manager either for asphalt 9 it's not their fault all right guys good luck drive safe and don't be paying for those paywalls